welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Um, all right, Gene. I think uh, we're ready to start this show. You got your jeans on? I got my jeans up. I got... Are they tight? They're pretty tight. They're pretty high. <laughs> jeans are so tight. Yeah. I put on a pair yesterday and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this today. I'm not there. This is going to be a fun maximum, show. Maximum jean edge. Let's do it. Ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Before you have sex... Jesus Christ. If you want to be horny for two or three hours like you've never been in your life, and you have access to marijuana too. Good weed. Listen to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did that go through? Fuck. Where you take? Take two. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Good. We make beef type, and he goes like beef this. rights like that. <laughs> Let me see if this is working. You better get your life. Yes, Tamar Braxton. So this guy, what do you think? He's giving you sex advice. I don't understand what the advice is. So he said, if you really want to have super horny, like a good horny time, <laughs> okay. he's telling you you got to get really good weed. He's telling you this as he's <sighs> uh, inhaling laughing gas through mm -hmm. a balloon. Mm -hmm. But now he's going to tell you the next thing to really up your horniness. Ready? Okay. True weed alone can get you really hornier than normal, but Benadryl, take about 10, 12 Benadryl before <laughs> you want to have your sexual fun with your partner or whatever you do or masturbate, all right? 10 or ben 12? Drill. But isn't that way too many it's Benadryl? so many. I think my heart would stop. Wait, does that make your heart pound? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's like, I think also if you wanted to tell anyone... Hey, you know any medication that's over the counter? Take 10 or 12 of them and then go have sex. <laughs> it's a bad idea. And I think they're all going to be like, yeah, that was really more intense. Like, I remember as a kid, my mother would give me Dimetap. You want to fuck good? <laughs> uh, take take uh, 10 or 12 shots of Afrin in your nose and then smoke weed. Be like, all right. It's crazy. Yeah, it felt crazy. But I think the, the, there's Sudafrin, isn't there, in, uh, in that? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I used to take Dimetap as a kid. It's outlawed now. It's gone. It is? Yeah, because it was loaded with, like, crank. And I remember it, it just makes your heart pound, but it also had a downer at the same time so that you could fall asleep. So I'd be like, ah, like <laughs> but you can breathe real easy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. This guy, he's, he's got it figured out, if you ask me. Uh, about an hour later when you feel it just kicking in, smoke yeah. your weed then. Okay. And then, and then what? go ahead and get horny. And <laughs> I promise you it'll be... Millions and times more. You'll yep. be so blissfully horny that you will not want to come. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Millions of times. There is going to be restlessness if you take it really oh. late at night okay. and you're See? and you and you want to just go to bed. Uh -huh. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Because <laughs> Benadryl will make you have restless legs and restlessness. <laughs> no shit. You'll you'll wake up and you'll yeah. you'll. It's not very pleasing. No, it's not. No. What's going on with those know, pupils? Laughing yes it's, he's out of his fucking... He's, is he filming in his closet, too? Like, <laughs> but his pupils this? are super dilated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and he's like, he's giving you, I like that he's so uh, sure of himself, you know? He's yeah. like, this is how you do this that. This is the system. Yeah. You can tell he's really honed it over the years, too. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I used to do two, three Benadryl, <laughs> and then four, five. Got to like do it. 10 or 12 Benadryl. <laughs> 10 or 12. God. I, do 10 or 12 even come in the foil? You got to get know. two packs to get 10 or 12 in. And then smoke your weed, and trust me, <laughs> then. you're, you're going to be horny. <laughs> you're going to be all cranked up, and then yeah. you're going to want to bring it down. Yeah. That's craziness, dude. It's a lot. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. it's better than an orgasm. I've been up for what? like 48 hours straight before. I've been on drilling weed. Yeah. On my computer watching girl, women wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. Women's wrestling. Well, and it's better than having the orgasm because he's saying you're not gonna come. No, he's saying you're not gonna want to because you're so blissfully horny. You're so you're so you're so enjoying out, yeah. the way you feel yeah. that you won't want to end it. Oh, I see. You know, you'll just want it to like keep riding that wave, riding the snake. Yeah, man, what kind of lives do people have, huh? I don't know, man. It's a lot of free time. It's a lot. This guy's really worked out. How do you feel, by the way, Gene? Your your special has been very oh, well received. It's pretty exciting. so overwhelming. It's yeah. so overwhelming to have this much approval. Like I legit am not used to people liking anything. Yeah, you know what I mean. You just you slave away in obscurity for fourteen years, and then and you're just like, it's fine. I can say what I want. No one cares. It's and then, really positive. And then Gene. one day you're like, oh, people care. It's great. Oh, yeah, it's a maze. It's, it's a great special. Amazed, thank you. Well, without without you, my jeans would never be so tight or high. And me, I, yeah, because you're my love, you're my support system, you're my family, you're everything. Yeah. Well, without you, there nice is no gene. Wow. There's two mommies and one jeans. That's how it goes. Again, if you haven't seen it, it's called uh, Machines with Thin. Machines <laughs> with Thin. And it's on Netflix right now. I actually had this song in my head over the weekend. A lot of people. No have. lie. A lot of It's people not have. a bad song. I feel like it's not that bad. It's, I mean, uh, he, it can take some work. It needs work, but it's not bad. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Like, I feel like if the right band took it and actually reworked it, it would be very good. Well, we have a number of submissions <laughs> of people that have reworked it. So oh, my God. It's pretty exciting. We also have uh, this email. Uh, Listen to the latest episode. I was on my way to work. You guys suck. I'm walking around my office. <laughs> And machines within, machines within is stuck in my head. I'm trying to focus at my computer. Machines within, machines within. I know. It's like that juggle who tapped into something inside me. Make it stop. Yes. <laughs> I agree. I feel the same way. Chris. All right, Chris. Because I was laying in bed last night and you were supposed to be giving me head scratches, which yeah. were inferior because I woke up and my hair was not tangled. And But the whole night I was going, machines within, yeah. machines, machines within. within. So he tapped. You know, I yeah. had a whole fantasy. <laughs> about I had this in you know I I don't know I do a lot of like you know Diamond tap Benadryl I do, I do a lot of um, thinking you know when I take I take like ten or twelve Benadryl and I <laughs> smoke weed and no but like you know like I'll come up with jokes and stuff in the shower I always think in the shower yeah yeah and I was this weekend I'm in I was on the road. <laughs> And I was doing shows, and then I was like, machines with thin yeah, shower. Yeah, good. And then I was like, we should fly that guy out, <gasps> bring him to uh, like a friend's studio, yeah, and like have a a real producer, a friend of mine, lay a beat and like film it That'd and have be this dude dope. Like, and then one of my good friends, who you know, is a music video director. Yeah, and like yes, cut yes, a video. That that was that yeah. would kind of be the most amazing thing to ever happen to this man. Yeah, I think we should work on I it. Know. Let's find him. Does anyone know who he is? Let's find him. Do you have any contact? Yeah, does anyone have contact for Machines Within Guy? Because I think that could be I think we need to make this happen. We need to fly him to LA and we need to treat him like a star and get his career going. And do Machines Within, you know? Yeah. I think we could really do something special with that. I think so too. But in the meantime, um, some of our, you know, we are no, a lot of podcasts will claim, you know, they're this and that. There are no, there's no podcast in the world (laughs) that has a better podcast uh, a library and a better uh, mm. musically inclined bass than we do. We have yeah. some of the songs, you know, the songs that have come out of the show, some of them are incredible. Like there's really talented people making music. Anyways, I actually was dreaming about this too this weekend. I, I First of all, thank you to everybody, Ann Arbor, Indy, and Northfield, Ohio, Cleveland. Unreal shows, sold out shows, Really fun, 
We just had the best time. A lot Josh of mommies. Potter and I. Yeah. And like we had great, great shows, man. They were just oh, great good. energy. Never knew Ann Arbor was going to be like that. Wait a minute. I have a question. Yeah. Did you meet anybody after the shows? Like, did you take any photos with people or is that just something a personality champ does? Uh, yeah, I took photos with people. What but were you nice and stuff? What do you mean was I nice? Because I've been getting reports when I'm in, I was in St. Louis tits and, and in the South and people are like, Tom's not a personality champ. He doesn't really meet people. Dude, what are you talking stuff. about right now? Yeah. You don't think I took photos with people? mm why would you even say that's something the word like on that? the street that you're not friendly, you're not a personality champion like I am. What, dude? Everybody, everybody was like, "You're so much nicer than Tom." Well, these get like your fucking twinsy here. These are like three versions of the same person. These are Cleveland Indians baseball players right here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, play. They you guys came, all look the same. Came to the uh, came to the show. Kip Zimmer right here. We um hung out after the show. Super nice, nice guys. Nice, cool. Um, yeah, I took. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, okay. You're on the gram? I'm on the gram. To the gram. You do the... Uh, Try to get engagement. Dun, 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 Some stories dun, dun, dun. from my life. My car. My, my car. car. Some bacon. You go there, you can you can see all the pictures I take with people. Um, They're posted. Uh, yeah, but I, I have so many more. Machines okay. with it. Yeah. Machines, Machines with, with it. it. All right, so... It's not a bad song. <sighs> I got slight you distraction, did but tap into something there. Listen, um, so here's just a few, but you can just let me know. Let's see. This is uh, <laughs> machines. With this it. is machines within featuring Charo by <laughs> DJ Socks <laughs> on the track. Okay. All right, so dude. Our listeners go. are so talented. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I have another beat down for you. I'm trying to practice, practice my own song. This is my tradition. <laughs> this is a certified hood classic. <laughs> yeah, I got a gun. Terminator gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Yeah. Terminator gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Terminator gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Terminator gun. Machines were thin. 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 It's a different approach, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because here's the thing. When I hear, I hear, machines were thin. Machines were thin. Interesting that you say that. It needs to go that way. But So this was just someone's take on a, this is kind of an. It's a chiller vibe. It's a chiller, but also a kind of scarier vibe. Yeah. (laughs) Because it had like an eerie, like. Horror movie quality to it, I thought. Yeah. You know, like machines. Yeah. Was the late night. That's Charles going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. T16. T16. Oh, it's kind of scary. Yeah. 100. percent Yeah. 100. Yeah. <laughs> percent Oh shit. T16. T16. Damn. 100. percent Damn. 100. I'm terrified. Machines were thin. But I feel like something machines bad's about to happen. Yeah, yeah. Machines These machines thin. are diabolical. This, this could have been in the Sicario movie, you know? Dude, right? right? Yeah. Right. Coming up on the house. Machines were thin. Take like machines 16 thin. Benadryl. Machines Sit in your thin. Oh, shit. Working on my song. Happy Halloween. Ooh, on the street. That's cool. I don't care about that. I like I it. F the haters. F the haters. F all the haters. On the street. I like it. I don't care but F. F. F the haters. F the haters. F all the haters. Machines were thin. <laughs> it's so good. Really good. I mean. It's so good. I should have done this to to remind people, but like this is what they're working on. Yeah. I'm trying to see my song. I'm trying yeah. to see my song. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. I have another beat down for you. I try to practice, practice my own song. This is my introduction to my song. Yeah. Coming at you. Uh, here we go. I'll sing it. Okay. Machines were thin. Machines were See? thin. They yeah. got a gun. They got a gun. Yeah, all they're going off of. Terminator gun. Yeah. yeah. Machines were thin. Yeah, it's machines good. were thin. Trying to rake my rap. Trying to make my rap. rap. Trying to practice on my flow. Trying to practice on my flow. Machines were thin. Machines were thin. Yeah. I hear it though. Thin. Yeah. I hear it. I'm on the street. I don't give a f. F the haters. F all the haters. Marcy. So. Yeah, I feel like and you should say fuck though. I like Machines were thin. thin. It's good. It's good. Yeah. You just needed a producer, dude. Machines were thin. Yeah. Machines were thin. Machines were thin. 
good shit. Yeah. Socks on the DJ Socks on the track, man. Damn, dude. Very interesting take on it. Very interesting take on it. It's it's awesome. It's, I applaud you. I mean, I can't believe he. That's uh, so amazing. It's amazing what people can do. So this is Machines Within coming up here by Equus. Yeah. Okay. So this is another version of Machines Within. Yeah. Uh, different take and um, yeah, just you know. We need like Mastodon. Please. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's also kind of a chiller vibe, right? Yeah. Machines with it. Oh, shit. G16, G16. Yeah, machines with it. Machines with it. G16, G16. 100%. G16. Machines with it. Machines with it. Trying to rake my rap. Trying to make my rap. Trying to practice on my flow. Trying to practice on my flow. Rapping on my song. Rapping on my song. Machines with it. Here we go. Here we go again. Here's my song. Yeah. Come back. I'm trying to sing on my song. There we go. Shit. Say it again. Machines within. Machines within. T16. It works, man. It does, yeah. Definitely yeah, machines works. Machines within. Yep. Machines within. T16. T16. Happy Halloween. Happy oh. Halloween. Terminators meet tricks. Terminators meet tricks. What's real? What's fake? What's real? What's fake? Terminators meet tricks. Terminators meet tricks. Machines within. Machines within. They got a gun. They got a gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Destruction on me, destruction on me, mother effer, mother effer, yeah, machines with it. Again. What's T-16? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Tech 16, like gun? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I just remember, yeah, by the way, special. that because I had mentioned where I was this weekend, I went to this place in Ann Arbor called Frida's Bodidas. It's like Cuban. That's not true. Yeah. Frida's Bodidas? Yeah, I swear Frida's to you. It's a toddler restaurant. No, I'm telling Frida's you. Frida's Bodidas? What do they serve there, Frito Bandito? I'm, I think it's. Frito Bandito. What's it yeah, called? Yeah. Uh, That's Beavis's restaurant. What's it called? Frida Batido. Sorry, Frida I said Batido. it wrong. Yeah. I went here. Frida. Batidos. Frida Batido. Cuban inspired street food. Oh. Oh, so you man. you get diarrhea too? I, it was so good, man. Well, like, that shit looks see? delish. With the fried egg on top. Okay, and Frida. Anyways, uh, one of the guys working there listens to our podcast. Palmcast? Yeah, listens to our Palmcast. So. You're kidding. He, um, you know, I ordered <laughs> the burger and the. And the egg and everything, yeah. but I'm, you know, I was trying. I didn't eat. I was like, I'm not going to eat the bun. You know that kind of shit, right? Like, yeah. you're like, you're doing your primal shit. Yeah, you're just trying Keto to stay. Motherfucker. Anyway, so they, you know, I didn't know that he he didn't say anything at first. So I order, and then I had a little side salad, and then a server comes out and goes, Tom, and I go, yeah, and he goes, here's your um, uh, churros, your fried churros, like with sugar and chocolate sauce to mm. dip it in. I go, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I definitely didn't order that, man. And uh, then the guy goes, I listened to the Palm Guys. I thought oh, you'd like to try it. And then he, I was like, oh, that's very nice of you. And then Josh Potter, who's with me, I was like, you know, I didn't order this, but I'm I'm not turning this down. Of course. So I just dove in. Yeah. It was one of the best fucking things I've ever had. Hot Dude. little churro bites. There's nothing better than Covered that. in sugar. Not, but not and then better. a chocolate, a hot chocolate dipping it's sauce. It's the fucking bomb, dude. I was, I had cramps. <laughs> for 36 hours after we ate it. And we had bites. We had we both had cramps. I was like, I go, I, I, then uh, I, I, go, I don't feel good later. He goes, well, you ate just spoonfuls of sugar. <laughs> like, it yeah. wasn't like sweet. It's like covered. Yeah. It's one of the best fucking that's things. That's what a, you're saying it wrong. It's just churro, but right, right. that's how you eat a churro, dude. Churros. It's just a Mexican pastry. Now that shit's, but they're Spanish. Sorry, they, yeah. they originated. Well, this is a Cuban joint, but yeah, in, in Spain, right? I don't but think they're Spain, Spanish from Spain. I, don't I think, think so. they are. I no. watched the um, Great British Baking Show, and no. they go, look it up. Trudos are from Spain again. Okay, maybe you're right because they go. This week we're doing Spanish churros. Of course, they can't say shit right on on that show. Spanish churros, and they did the same thing where they all had to do variations on the churro. Churro. Okay. Let's see. A churro or traditional. Churro. You're right. They are, you're totally right. For once in my life, I'm right on the fucking show. Yep. Fried, Everything I fried say dough, is man. retarded. Fried dough. 
It's fried dough, and, and then it comes roll out in sugar. hot. Don't yeah. forget that they're oh, piping. It's, so it's basically, you know what it is? It's basically a version of a donut, yeah. right? But they're covered in sugar. It's the best. And then the new shit is they give you a sauce to dip it in. Yeah. That's like the restaurant. It's like how we added bacon to Brussels sprouts this generation. Everyone's dipping that shit in chocolate. Can I tell you the best place to get a churro mm. to get your life? Alvera Street in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. Go yeah. down Alvera Street, one of those vendors. I mean, that's what's up. But they're all that's over Latin favorite. America now. Oh, they're the um, best, dude. Anytime there's fried dough, the, it's the best. Now, in Hungary, their version of the churro is called langos, mm-hmm. and it's only in the summertime you can get it, and it's deep fried dough, yeah. but then they put butter, mm-hmm. garlic, mm-hmm. sour cream, and sprinkle some cheese on that bitch. That'd be good, too. Get your, It is so good. S- looks like they said there's, they don't know the origin, yeah. like the story, but they think that maybe the Portuguese brought it to Europe from China. China. So that the Chinese maybe have Oh, they do because they have for it. I'll tell you I know this uh, when I did the Chinese guy, Chinese breakfast, they do a fried donut with like uh soy milk. Warm warm milk. Another I theory your donut in is there. that the churro was made by Spanish shepherds to substitute for fresh bakery goods. Oh. Churro paste was easy to make. Look and then, us. of course, I guess they brought it all to Latin America because now you find it, it says you find it in Peru, Venezuela, Colombia, Guatemala. So it, now it's everywhere. Look at us and yeah. our knowledge. Look at our knowledge. Okay. Back to Machines Within. Machines Within. Machines, machines within. within. So this is Machines Within. <laughs> by yes. Machines Within. I'm listening. By Benny Harper. Listening. Again, if uh, if you need a reminder of what we're, what we're going off of here, it's just... Just very machines cool. within, machines <laughs> within. That's it. That's all these guys had to work with. Maze. Here we go. Machines within. <laughs> Here we go. Machines within. Machines within. T sixteen. T sixteen. Here we go. One hundred percent. Machines within. Machines within. Machines within. Got to get them. Got to get them. Yeah. This is. We're on the right track. Got to get them. Got to get them. Yeah. Got to get them. Got to get them. I actually I don't think it's bad. Why you cut him off? Trying to make my rap. Trying to make my rap. Trying to practice on my floor. Trying to practice on my floor. Machines within, not in the street. I don't give a F. F the haters, F all the haters. Wow. No hate, rocking on my song. Walking down the streets, rocking on my song. Walking down the streets, rocking on my song. Yeah, dude, this one time right here. It's fucking crazy. Machines within, not in the street. I don't give a F. F the haters, F all the haters. Machines within, not in the street. I don't give a F. F the haters, yeah. Wow. Oh. I kind of like it. Machines yeah. with it. Machines with it. Yeah. He, he sang my hears song. it. I sang my song. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Pretty good, man. You know that we have, your mom's house, we have fans that are actual, real, like, famous musicians that listen to this show. Yeah, we have a few. I would, I challenge those guys, if anyone's got some free time, <laughs> I would love to see someone do Machines with it. Machines with it, man. <laughs> That was really good. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Metallica, if they could cover it, would be, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That'd I mean, be they could. Dope. I feel like they could come out with a completely unironic version that's what of I'm, this song. That's, what, that's the thing. Here's, and their fan base would be like, Machines yes, Within. Yes, yeah. because the phrase Machines Within yeah. is fucking really dope, actually. Like, oh, that's kind of deep. And like, yeah. what is, oh, yeah, dude, you're talking about the man. Yeah. Internalize the societal structures, whatever the fuck that means. Sure. There's yeah. a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Um <laughs> last uh <sighs> last week you also were Machines on Machines with it. On Joe Joe Rogan's podcast. That's right. Yeah, how was that? What does mommies <laughs> mean? <laughs> it was it was awesome. It's the first time I ever did the show without you. Yeah. So it felt a little bit like you know on Seinfeld when Elaine yeah, would hang out funny with that you, George that your analogy. without yeah. Jerry. Yeah. So at the beginning I was like, how is this? What? I mean, I've obviously. Why does everybody <laughs> call you guys jeans? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had a great time. Uh, Joe is 
such an easy person to hang he out is, with, yeah. and he's one of the most wonderful, sweetest. Yeah. Smartest, What's with the genes? Funniest humans. Yeah. And we had such a great time. We had good. a really good time. We talked so much shit. Talk some shit. Isn't that crazy, by the way? That literally, I don't know if people totally understand this, but doing his podcast to promote your special is more effective <laughs> and bigger than doing like a late night talk <laughs> I show. I know. It's so crazy. Many more people will listen to it. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it is bananas because. I'm, you know, Netflix is having me possibly do those circuits yeah, too. And yeah. it's like, I, okay, but yeah. the truth of it is. The glamour is in those. Everybody. That's the one that people go, wow, you made yeah. it onto that. But the ears and the focus is in the podcast. The Palmcast world. Yeah, Palmcast. I've been getting so many tweets from people that Joe Rogan referred me to the special. Of and course. Da, 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 and now it's like, That's it's how it works, amazing. Man. So I'm That's very appreciative to Joe for having me on. As yeah. usual, very appreciative. Yeah, definitely. Mommies, um, put your jeans up high <laughs> and tight. <laughs> there yeah. he is. There you go. He's the sweetest. Um, He's the best. So we had the guy obviously tell us to take our Benadryls. And How many? How many have 12. you taken so far? 10 to 12. <laughs> and then when it kicks in, then smoke your weed. <laughs> okay. Wait, let's let's go through it. Seriously, By what is way, it? It's you 10 to 12. I, you know what I realized I about, I about Sober October? Yeah. Because I'm going to go to hot yoga here in a little while. Right. Is um, drinking and stuff is so much not a part of my regular routine. Yeah. That I could accidentally slip probably more than anybody else. In other words, I put so little thinking and attention into like getting a drink. Right. That I'm the one that could easily, I feel like, I mean, we're already halfway through the month. But yeah. easily someone could be like. Oh, hey, I got you a beer. And I'd be like, oh, okay. And it, yeah. Because you don't think about it. Yeah, I don't think about it. Like, I posted a joke this weekend after a show. Uh, Potter and I went to a, a hotel bar. Yeah. And I ordered a coffee and he ordered a bourbon. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I think I'm going to break. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> and then I, you know, I drank my coffee. But yeah. Well, alcohol's not a big deal for you. Getting high is not a big deal for you. No, I know. And then somebody was like, yeah, but you're dr you're not sober because you're, you're drinking coffee. I was like, first okay. of all, it was okay. decaf. Straight edge. Because it was like 11.30. I ordered a cup of decaf just to have a drink of something. Mm -hmm. But um, that definitely was not part of our arrangement. It was like avoid no. caffeine. Which I did, by the way. I did do no coffee for the last 10 days of the weight loss no, challenge. No, no. That now, sucked. That sucks so bad I, I mean i mean you're not mormon this isn't the no mormon i know challenge. i don't want to do that shit man caffeine isn't that bad for you yeah i feel like i i couldn't live without coffee it's my one that is my one thing for sure yeah i can't go without i love that. it i love coffee too well i need it we have a toddler how do you get through having young children without drinking coffee yeah i don't know that's fucking that nuts so but but joe's off the weed he yeah he didn't do it no. I mean, he he. People thought he was smoking weed, but he's not. He's not smoking no. weed. No, yeah. no, he's fine. He seemed totally, totally he's happy. Like, it's totally not fine. Hardy also, a it's lot of not. these things were not hard for everybody. For you two. Now, there's two other people in this challenge who are not thrilled. With, this actually is a much difficult. more of a challenge for <laughs> Ari and Bart. Yeah, they are. They are. I can tell. Like, <laughs> I think Ari's more troubled or bothered. Well, definitely by not smoking weed. He's a really heavy weed. You know, smoker. Yes. He smokes weed every day. So that's a, definitely a challenge. He hates the idea of going to this class just because it's an inconvenience, which I can say I totally understand. It is a major inconvenience. Like, it's a huge we're commitment. doing this Palmcast right now where we could be doing it later, but I have this and I have a meeting and I'm trying to fit hot yoga either. Like, I can go either before the meeting or after. Yeah. I'd much rather get it in before. So after my meeting, I can come home. Because if I don't, yeah, yeah. then I have to go from a meeting to hot yoga, and then I'm home fucking, you know, super late tonight. Well, because you guys are also doing 90-minute classes. 90 fucking minute classes. And, and 15 of them. It's a lot of time commitment, especially yeah. because you're not just going for 90. You have to drive there. Exactly. You have to get your shit together, go. Yes. Now, how sweaty do your nuts get? It's on, I'm just, actually, it's when I'm done with class, it's like I just got out of a pool. Yeah. It's just I'm completely soaked. Now, do you smell other people? No. People are pretty decent, you know. I think they show up clean and you're That's not really nice. Yeah. You you don't smell people. I think also because like 
to smell someone would be either they're dirty when they got there or you'd be hanging out there way after. You know what I mean? Like you, right. you wouldn't smell right away. Unless, like one of the teachers one time pointed out, like, hey, if you're coming to this class uh, and you eat like a bunch of garlic before, you're going to fuck with people. Like, so don't do that. So Don't be a jerk. Yeah, don't be a jerk. You know what you should do? Take 10 to 12 Benadryl and then take this class. Get super horny. And see if your heart just explodes. Just see how horny I am. <laughs> How horny I am in camel pose. <laughs> now, I have to tell you that I, I used to take yoga in Santa Monica yeah. like uh, a million years ago. And I always noticed that the men, there's really not great yoga attire for men. Like no. the women have all the accessorizing A couple stuff. dudes are in Speedos. Right. Like yeah. it's it's a bad fashion. They just haven't really marketed it for men enough. Yeah. So I remember standing behind certain gentlemen um, when they would <laughs> do the pose where you, yeah. you got one leg on the floor and then one leg goes back and up towards. The what is a maze? Right. Gentlemen. Yeah. Where, where your leg goes back. Yep. So, you know what I'm saying? So one leg back, one sure. leg on the floor. And I remember seeing countless nuts, yeah. countless balls. And it, it's funny the first time. And then you're like, really? Like you can't cover your nuts for this class, like you know, your balls are. Uh, yeah, I'm lucky. I haven't seen balls. I've seen some weird dudes. And then <laughs> there was one day where these two guys, I was like, look, I was like, what the fuck is up with these guys? And then it hit me yeah. that they were like developmentally disabled guys. Oh. And because they were doing like goofy faces and they were acting goofy, like they were just acting weird. And then I was like, oh, I think they're. Like maybe the bus brings them here, you know, as part of a program oh, or something. Okay. And I also noticed that the teacher never, instru- like the teacher will um, tell, you know, tell people like, all right, Laura, you got to keep that left shoulder aligned. Tom, try to roll forward further yeah. on your head. Feet stay on the ground. But these two, he never addressed. And I'm like, why isn't he addressing these two goofballs? <laughs> and then I realized that like, oh, I think they're, special you they're know they're doing retarded yoga yeah they were they were kind of so <laughs> and one of them farted and no yeah yeah and then one of them like was just playing with his shorts and like <laughs> and then one of them just stayed on the ground and w- wasn't really doing poses and i'm like why aren't you like because if somebody else you know like, i reached for water once not a water break tom and i was like okay so it's like why are you not addressing these two guys yeah. and then i realized oh and one one of them showed up in khakis and a button-down shirt no. and dress socks. And we were all like, ah, <laughs> what the fuck? Because it's, you know, it's 104 degrees in there. Yeah. And then he left and came back in pajamas. And I was like, I don't know what's Whoa. going on with this guy. But like thick pajamas? No, like regular, but like still no one addressed him. Yeah, so well, that's like, what you do though. Right. You give him a I'm pass. Like somebody, oh, Of course, but I was like, at first I was just like, what is up with these guys, man? You can't really chastise them, you know? No, of course not. No, no. So they farted? Somebody farted? Yeah, one of the guys farted. Yeah. <laughs> Did you laugh? Of course. <laughs> but I kind of kept to myself. You know, there's this like uh, culture in, in Bikram where there's not a lot of laughing. There's not, it's all pretty. You have to, you know, you don't really get that much out of it if you're not focused. So people I believe it's don't, pronounced Bikram. Oh, okay. Bikram. There's not a lot of goofing off. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. The there. most I've serious. goofed off in there is with was when uh is when Bert's next to me, you know, like sometimes Yeah, sometimes um, you know, we'll do that I forget the plane pose where like your arms are straight out next to you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your and your legs are straight back and I'll reach over and I'll just like touch his arm or touch <laughs> his hand and he'll be like he'll be like <laughs> <laughs> But then I'll just uh, you know, I pay attention to where the teacher is and Yeah. I do like little goofy shit like that, but it's pretty serious. Wow. Yeah. Have we had any um, enlight- enlightenment thoughts? No, not super enlightenment, but I do, I do say, I mean, you definitely, there. there's sometimes you get emotional in certain poses, which is oh, weird. That's interesting. And I do think um, you have amazing clarity at the end of class. Yeah. You know, if you go, th- you, when you get through a whole class, you're laying there, you, um, your mind feels very clear. It's like you can make, if you had to like make a big decision, yeah. I would go to one of those classes and think about it afterwards. Interesting. Yeah. I like that. That's exciting. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, I, I, I do I do see the benefit. The only part that sucks is with the bet. It's like, you just have it, like, you know, my week is crazy this week. Yeah. Right? I sent you my schedule because I have to go to all these meetings 
And it's like, and I'm trying to figure out how to fit in all these goddamn sessions, you know? Yeah. And it's the, it's the time commitment. The time. That's and, it. and it's not like you can do it at home either. You no, have to you got to go to the class. Yeah. That's the tough part. Yeah. Well, you're all, you're halfway through it, right? Are we halfway if through? If I go it? to today, well, I'm going, um, will be number seven. And then I can't go tomorrow, but I'm going to try to go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to try to go three days in a row to, okay. to tack on a few more. And at that point, I'll only have five to do, but I'll have I'll have enough days to hit them. Now, at the end of the class, do they hand out um, thumb rings and like bracelets they're for the guys? Such weird guys in there. <laughs> the guys are all weird. The girls right? are the beaded. There's some weird girls, yeah. definitely weird yeah. girls, but there's some normal girls. Yeah, most of the dudes are odd. Yeah, yeah, they're like, awkward guys. They've got the bun, man buns. And... There's a couple man bun guys. Um, couple, yeah, wristband, leather wristband guys. Oh, the leather cuff. Yeah, you know. Couple just patchouli salesmen, you know, just weird <laughs> dudes, weird shaman guys. Um, Come hugs. There's no dudes where you're like, like there's not a guy in there where I could be like, you see the game last night? Right. Because <laughs> they'd be like, what game are you talking about? The game of life. I mean, right. they, I don't know what, what they would right. say. Right. Nobody looks like they watch the game. Is everybody, is all, all, are all the guys like the goddess twin activator guy? <laughs> but there's a bunch of those. Yes. Yeah. Some of the instructors are goddess twin activators. Yeah. Or like, I can teach you how to come hug. If yeah. You yeah. It, a lot of vegan vagina mm -hmm. dudes. And now the girls are weird how? What's their style? There's a couple like, you know, the girl with like the third eye thing on her <laughs> forehead. Oh, she wears like a bindi or something? Something here. You know. Something here. Yeah. <laughs> like a sticker, a like stick on tell, diamond. Like hardcore vegan lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. You know, just like real grungy of the earth. Weird in that sense. Yeah. Real spiritual, where you're like, oh God, you'd yeah. be unbearable to, yeah. <laughs> to talk to. Um, and then there's, I don't know, there's like some sweet older ladies, who, you know, like going to their, you could tell like they're, they're enlightened in life with age, right? Sure. They're like wise, kind of cool. Some of them seem like they're cool older ladies. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're definitely not getting like a party girl <laughs> vibe in Bikram. That's not like there's the, not, the I'll class. I'll let the Bikram and get wasted after. No, there's, there's none no, of those. There's nothing like that in there. No. Sure. A um, couple rehab chicks for sure. You can tell this is like part of getting their life back together. Sure. You can tell you like you partied hard before. <laughs> there's definitely some of that, you know. Um, that's cool. Yeah. So that's good. It's that's, everything. It's an eclectic. Rop, rop. Oh man! You, well, what if you started doing that during Bikram? Well, especially if you, this especially on the gland penis. <laughs> yeah, on my gland penis. On was, the gland penis was, is exactly where I want to do it. You know, rap, 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 rap. I wish well, I wish she had some advice for for women. I feel like it's very penile. I cannot believe you just said that. For people that don't listen to this show regularly, Christina doesn't get the folders. She doesn't get these clips. They're sent to me. And then uh, if I want her to see one ahead of time, I send her to them so that she knows. But otherwise, the whole fun is to play <laughs> clips and surprise Christina. And upset me, yeah. And now he has female advice. See, I know, I'm so on the crazy. same wavelength. I feel, like I, under, I feel like I know this guy. Yeah, here's Rub Shut Rub up. Guy. Has tons of rubbing ticks for women. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> that is nasty. I'm not even sure I want to hear it. You want to hear it. Ugh. So we have ache. Oh, God. Okay. We have the jet ache for lady to practicing in the vagina. Because the vagina, the, vag uh, the, the vagina, or the, um, <sighs> when you're too loose, especially the lady have baby. Right? So oh, the lady this, has. My, it's kind of yes, my problem. Let's wheel. talk about and it. And you see, the vagina is small. Right. And when the baby has to this big, really? it'll go too. Yeah. yeah, and after that, it's very loose. Right, right. So you got sure. loose puss is what he's talking loose about. Loose baby vagina. comes out. You got a loose puss. So then what? So when they make love, make love uh, before they when they before they have baby, they make love is so amazing, so good, so good. But after they have baby, when they put the penis in, the man put the penis in, they say, and I'm in or out because too loose, they don't feel it. <laughs> I love his face yeah. always. Like, yeah. What? Am I in or out? Too loose. I is don't that feel how it. you felt after we were you like, am I in or out? No, you too have too loose. Oh, fucking no. A bear trap. Yeah. That's it's a call. snug little. It's okay. like you got okay. it's like you got little mouths in there going. Okay. All right, Tom. Like that. 
Uh, Women have to practice the, the, the exercise, we call egg exercise. Egg to, exercise. Egg exercise for the strengthening okay. the vagina. You give them an egg and they practice right, to, like, practice on, to like crunch down on the right. egg. Okay. You, you put the shit egg. The shit egg? <laughs> You what put you the shit egg in your puss. You cover the egg in shit and you, and you put it in yeah. your puss. On the right. egg. Okay. You, you put the shit egg. Yeah. What? The shit egg. The shit egg. You cover your egg in shit. It can't be good for you. Right. And uh, we, we teach the people in the workshop how to do exercise. Very important. Okay. Because yeah. women, when this vagina loose, the face all wrinkle. But this one tight, <laughs> the face tighter. How does that work? Oh, <laughs> that was the best. That's... That he was like... How does that work? But it makes sense. And if his you're... face shudders as he yeah. asks that question. <laughs> Watch Brian. Here face we go. All wrinkle. But this one tight, the face tighter. How does that work? Yeah, you <laughs> stupid fuck. <laughs> yeah, right. That's true. It's a good question. So what he's suggesting is you take your shit covered egg. Yeah. You put it in your puss. Okay. When your puss tightens, your face tightens. Oh, oh, I see. I don't know how that works. It's all connected. Your vagina is. The same as your face. God damn it. Motherfucker. <laughs> Every episode. Every episode. <laughs> Every damn time. Uh, huh. Because the How vagina, uh, when you lose, you lose a lot of sexual energy out. Life force all leak out because it's uh, like a floor or like a big door. In the cold winter, your door is leaking. Uh, you lose all the heat out. <laughs> okay. And you get weak. Oh. oh, see, that's why I'm so cold all the time. Because your door is open. My leaky door is open. Your leaky puss <laughs> energy door is open. But if you tighten your puss door, yeah. then yeah, tight. I got. Where do I get this shit egg? Is he selling those? At the seminar, we got to go. I got to pay for this. Man, he had, we have a video of him talking about massage your testicles, <laughs> rub your dick 350 <laughs> times, and now shove eggs in your puss. I really would love to watch him make love to you. I think it would be oh, an amazing experience. Tom, what? That is so nasty. I mean, it's different. It's not it's like... Different. It, it wouldn't be like one of those hammer like pornos where it's like some guy like gorilla pounding you. This guy would like really enlighten you. I think you know be... you're you're always hung up on this technique stuff as if that negates the fact that he is na like you know you ever watch that show Battlestar Galactica no. back in what's the show that had slee stacks on there? They're called I don't slee know. stacks. Well, the guy looks like a slee stack. And I can't get over it. Call me superficial. Just close your eyes but and let him take you to a wonderland. Decrepit. Yeah, but you. The uh, dog very concerned about reduce the menstruation. You have to what? reduce them. Wait, no, play that again. Because I don't even understand what? when he the, just the, fucking said. The mentor, mentor, mentor. What? The dog very concerned about reduce the menstruation. You have to Re reduce them. Reduce the okay. menstruation. Because reduce what? The 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 mentor, 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 oh, uh, me menstruation. 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 Right. menstruation. Right. Because the menstruation leaking too much energy. Oh, I yeah. gotta reduce my menstruation. Yeah. How do I do that? Here though? you go, watch. <laughs> so you reduce the amount of yeah. menstruation. So the reducing is the massaging the breast. There you go. <laughs> Every man, a woman, <laughs> want to have baby or not have baby, the body producing an egg. Every man. Right. right. And in the moment of producing, the body has to prepare energy to make milk. Right. Right. Wait a minute, to make the milk. But you only make the milk if you have the baby. It's rough, he, he's not rough, understanding rough. how this works. You don't make milk producing the egg. <sighs> this guy's got his science wrong. I don't know. So I have to hold on. In order to reduce my menstrual flow, to to keep my energy, I have to rub my breasts during and put an ovulation. egg in your puss and put an egg in my. This is gonna be a full time vagina. job. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big time commitment. The vagina. <laughs> 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 so good, so good. Uh, I know, right? It's great. When this vagina loose, the face <laughs> all wrinkle. <laughs> right. Yep. But see how nice and wrinkle free my face is? Yeah, you look like you have a tight puss. <laughs> That's how you can tell whose vagina is loose. I guess. That's a whole new way of thinking about it. Yeah. Actually, that, that'll never leave my mind again. Yeah, because you'll be like, Ugh. Every time I see a wrinkled face, I'm going to be like, you got to tighten your puss up. <gasps> your door's open. Yeah, all the energy is leaking out of your <laughs> Your box right now. <laughs> you tighten your door, your door, and then your face will get nice. And they'll be like, "What?" <laughs> you should bring this up at yoga today. Yeah, especially if I see a wrinkled lady. I'm telling you though, if this guy 
let's put it this way. If I took his technique and I was like a nice blonde lady teaching mm-hmm. this shit to people, I could get on like the Today Show and be like, Prop. ladies, yeah. you want to fix those wrinkles? That's totally You got to yeah. tighten your vagine. But with him, they're just like, this creep just wants to jerk off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's all about the packaging. Yeah, of course. I feel like I have well, we've to talked about that with jokes. It's like bits work from certain sources. Sure, you know, of course. Like there's, you got to, from a certain person, they can't, I mean, they can say it, but it's not going to have the same impact. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about the shell, the, the shell you're in. Definitely. Uh, but I feel like I could turn that into a seminar and really make a living. Go do it. Go make a billion dollars getting <laughs> women's wrinkles to go I away. I could not and then, do that. You know, people so want their wrinkles to go away that right away they'd be like, I see that some of my wrinkles are gone. <laughs> and you'd have people testimonies like, I went to Christina's Loose Puss seminar and I had wrinkles and now some of them went away because my pussy's mm. tight again like that. We could sell those eggs too. Yeah. You Do you have your shit egg? Shit egg. You gotta dip it and shit and put it in your, <laughs> your pussy. I mean, he doesn't talk it's about so what. It, don't can an egg just break in your box? Absolutely. Well, theoretically, when you squeeze an egg on all sides, yeah. it doesn't break. Okay. Like you have to have like a ring on or something. Yeah. Like you ever tried sweet? Like you did in science class, right? Yeah. As a kid. Yeah. I don't think he means. I hope he's not meaning a literal egg that you would eat, but like something in the shape of one. Egg. Yeah. Like one of LJ's eggs. Yeah, like a fake one. A yeah. fake egg. Yeah. Our son and, loves but toy that's, eggs. That's a big thing to put up there to, pre- I mean. Yeah. Jeez, dude. I don't know. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Uh, bullshit. He doesn't know. He's, he's been doing this for like 40 years. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> so oh, when the God. lady, when when, lady. The, when the egg mature, the breast swollen up because yeah. a lot of energy there. Now when it's stuck and you don't transform, don't do anything with it, it become lump. And lump become tumor, and later on become we call cancer. Okay. Oh. He just solved breast cancer. Damn, I didn't realize. What do you call that? Rectum. <laughs> I miss Command. Yeah. What's she been up to? I wonder. I don't know. Do you remember we had the? Um, didn't we have that Command mashup? <laughs> right. Yeah. She's like I with with the Rub Rub guy and Command. Yeah. Together. Rub. Rub, rub, rub. Am I? How do you say? I saw. How do you say? I put a shit egg in my. How do you say? Vagina. Vagina. Make my vagina very firm. I saw. In this lovely house. And Remember then, when she said that when she filmed her porno? She goes, "We are here today." I like that she did. Yeah. In this lovely house, and I have two. Penis there in uh, my asshole. I like that we had um, the Kim Ann, uh, that she did a 60 plus MILF. 60 plus MILF? Uh, PC, like a clean version. Right. And then she did the hardcore version. Right. She did the YouTube version so it wouldn't get flagged. Yeah. Like the, the advertisement for it. I don't know why they make them do two. Well, to lure in the perverts on YouTube. I guess. And then the real one. Is on the website. That makes sense. Yeah, you want to get you casting the net for all the perps. Yeah, you gotta have them. You gotta have them all there. How'd you say? And I'm here um, to film. And this is such a beautiful villa. <laughs> um, um. We're sitting with the first time of my ever experience in my life with two young men, mm-hmm. and they have big. Hard cock this is the hardcore version. She didn't pluralize uh, cock. Yeah. Cock, cocks, plural. Really quaint place. Quaint place. And it's really, really comfortable. Comfortable. With a lot of artifacts oh. inside the house nice. as well as outside. That's what people are looking at. Anything I feel else? Really, really comfortable of being outside, okay. especially with the two gentlemen uh-huh. who really treat me very special today. Aww. My ultimate goal is <laughs> to really get them to be really, really hot. And I feel that me, mm-hmm. Kimon, have Kim on. a lot to offer. Yeah. Oh, you do, girl. Even though it's my first time, I was a little bit shaking. Yet. What do you think would be worse? That makes you shake. Do you shake. think it would be harder for me to be with Kimon or for you to be with this guy? Oh, you would be you would destroy Kimon. Why? 
I feel like you would like her because she's, she's like so 60 attentive. Something years yeah, but old. she looks great. She looks better than me. Her no. body is fit. Come on. Jets man. No, you would be you'd be fine. He this guy's a troll. Kim Ann's got her shit together at least. You think I could make love to Kim Ann? You would make sweet love to Kim Ann. I think I'd be Gentleman. way too gentle for her. She'd be like, You don't pound, ground and pound. I'd be like, I'm sorry. You don't want to hurt it. What? <laughs> oh. Asshole. Asshole. She's asking for attention. She would let you put it in her butthole. Oh, that would be like first move. Yeah. She'd be like, why, what are you doing with why that pussy right now? There? Yeah. Get back there, pig. Get back to the asshole. I go with it and I feel <laughs> s- really satisfied. Oh, satisfied. <laughs> with my whole body. Being with my whole body. She I seems so be, nice. Yeah. Um, She's a sweet lady, actually. You think so? Yeah. And say beautiful words. I feel oh. like and um, their touch. Beautiful words. And I feel experience. And and I I was so hot for them, especially um, on the scene that they put their hard cock <laughs> into my asshole. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there it is. I was so ready to come. I feel like it's weird that because she's so she doesn't speak like she's ever seen porn before. I know. It's like, do you have you seen the stuff that you're filming? I think like, you know what? That's a really interesting <laughs> point. And I think yeah. maybe not. Yeah. I think what this is for her, I really think she's one of these people who at sixty was like, I want a new experience. Yeah. And heard about like, well, you can film it and, and do all these crazy things. And she went she for genuinely, it. Like that. I don't think she yeah. had like years of watching it and knowing about it no no i think there's such a naivete there because usually it's the guys being like what are we doing today and the girl's yeah. like well, i'm gonna spread my pussy and these guys yeah. are gonna come in my mouth and yeah. you know they know the the jargon yeah no and no. she doesn't know this is really her sexual uh liberation or whatever you know yeah 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 like well <laughs> yeah yeah, it's usually a guy. You had that clip playing the other day where you're like, you're gonna, these guys are gonna come in your hair, yeah. and then you're gonna massage it in. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cum shampoo, and you're like, actually, it's right here. Jesus. Now I'm gonna film yeah. some of this with you here alone because what's gonna happen? <laughs> all these guys are gonna materialize all over the place, okay? Okay. And then what you'll do is, <laughs> uh huh. You know, you're basically just gonna lean back here. Ash is gonna come here? in here like this. Right with here. Arm. Like this. You're gonna put your head back in here. We're gonna set some stools like up here because what the guys gonna do, hun? They're gonna come. Up here, and they're gonna jack off in your hair. Oh, okay. okay. So all you gotta do when they're doing this is keep your head laying back here, too. and Ashley's gonna be massaging the cum into your hair. Okay. Okay. okay you're gonna, and yeah. this is really good for you because it's solid protein in the hair. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the average sh- film shoot. Yeah. And she goes, "We have filming today." Like yeah, she really like, is not nice things they were saying. <laughs> yeah. The artifacts are yeah. nice in the house. Yeah, and she's like, "Sweet they lady, caress my body." Like I don't, yeah. I didn't see any of that. No. And they're like, "Ah, oh, take it, granny." Like yeah. nobody's caressing. Do they anything? They hammer this lady. Of course, yeah. that's the whole thing. The sixty plus milf that you get hammered. Oof. Gentleman, gentleman. And I think she learned the gentleman because of like the gentleman's club. You know, and like they call strip bars. The Gentleman's Club, mm-hmm. which is always silly. Like, really? Like, there's guys in suits that are showing up. Like, yeah. What gentlemen are coming here? And she probably... No, it's not saw, a lot of gentlemen. Right. She saw a gentleman club and was like, oh, these are these are gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, guys that are interested in sex are gentlemen. Yeah, they're, <laughs> these are not gentlemen. <laughs> these are not gentlemen. Hate to tell you. Yeah. Uh, whoops. You have a no. practice for women oh, as well. Geez. That's the massage, the breast. Okay. Massage, there you go. massage, <laughs> massage, back, forward, backward. And shaking the breath and pushing the breath. <laughs> <laughs> this dude this kid's is out of his mind. Looking for what? Because he could teach you this. Yeah. And he'd be yeah. like, I show you. I show, I show you. you. I show you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Like this. Like this. And then like this. And you're like, uh, is your <gasps> dick hard? Yes, my dick is hard. <laughs> yeah. And he go, I, uh, people pay me five hundred dollar to show up. That house. is ridiculous. For them. Show me the massage again. It's crazy. I want to see. Massage, massage back, forward, <laughs> backward, and shaking the breath and Shake. pushing the breath <laughs> and pushing them together. <laughs> and that's gonna and that helps you not get breast cancer. Right. What he right. Right. Just alluded to. Right. Right. Um, this is an effective how... tool to fight breast cancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
This is how but I have to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> this is how twelve-year-old boys imagine like girls playing with. This their is babies. how twelve-year-old boys imagine uh, what <laughs> doctors do. <laughs> like when you go, if a woman goes, I'm going for a physical. They're like, Are you going to play with your tits? <laughs> Put an egg in your puss? <laughs> uh huh. Right. This guy's like, yeah, right. that's actually a very effective way to. Man. To keep a healthy body going. Mm. Is a, this all one interview or did this guy come back for my That part I don't you know? know. I feel like it's got to be the same one. And it's we just, just didn't. Absurd. He just found out about it. Look now. at his dad's shoes. Yeah, those are nice Nikes, right? Yeah. But they're dad Nikes yeah. for sure. <laughs> dad, cool. Yeah. Yeah, the other dude's got on like <laughs> dress shoes. Yeah. Yeah. This guy just went for his walk, his morning Tai Chi walk, and then came to the interview. And you t and the women, so the women probably take three to six months to learn all these techniques. Uh, quicker they for must longer than that. Longer, longer women. Longer, longer. longer. And they, they have to learn how to, to feel the contracting of the uterus. Oh, okay. for Christ. Yeah. The there you contracting go. of the uterus. London Real. You can watch their uh, YouTube channel and, and learn all about this stuff. And That's very, very good information. Yeah, very I gotta do, good. And then I got to do my urine enema. Don't forget that. Yep. When it. this vagina <laughs> loose, the face all wrinkle. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> my urine therapy, I got to squeeze my egg. I got to squeeze my boobs. He's awesome. I got to take 16 Benadryl and then smoke pot. Okay, and then you have fun. Rough. And then Rough. Rough. Yeah, it's, I think it's got to be the same interview, right? Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. If this is, yeah, it's and same. now you do it until it's the same interview. you feel orgasm. <sighs> oh, really? Yes. Okay. We call orgasm without ejaculation. <laughs> yeah. So you feel. So you see when you do when <laughs> when you get it. It's Please, why do I have to watch it, it again? <laughs> you, <laughs> when you squeeze, it's the orgasm coming up. <laughs> the interviewer laughing. I know. He's like, <laughs> but don't you feel like we should put the Benadryl guy and him together? Oh and yeah. The Benadryl guy is like, you're super horny, and then he's like, <sighs> yeah, you're like yeah, yeah, penis like that. <laughs> 50. 50. And you smoke your weed. <laughs> you get restless legs and you massage like that. <laughs> we have two methods that could go really well together if you just thought about it. And you throw Kim Ann in there. <laughs> I mean, it's a perfect, perfect mix. Perfect system. Yeah. We've got the perfect, the perfect smile, perfect system. It's really something, Gene. Rub, rub. What'd you do when I was gone this week? Just rub my titties. Yeah. Play with my eggs. Play with your eggs. Firmed it all up. There you go. Can you see how wrinkle free my shit is now? Yeah. Hung out with the little jeans. Is that good? Oh, he's the best, dude. Yeah, he's super fun. Hung out with the dogs. I just chilled. I chilled really hard. I needed to be home for a minute, you know, doing yeah. nothing. That's my favorite. I've been baking lately and I'm a terrible baker because I watched that British baking show and now I think I can bake, but I, I just fuck it up every time. But I still like it, you know. It's, yeah. it's a good to do things you're not you're not great at Joe Rogan and I were talking about that. Hey, yeah, he's he does things he's not great at, and I was like, oh yeah, I, I think I've started doing that now, because it's nice to to enjoy something even though you're not good at it. Sure, <laughs> and also feel like you can try to get better at it. Yeah, you know. So LJ helps me bake. It's super cute, and uh, and yeah, go to the park, run around, took some naps. A couple uh, questions came in via email. Oh boy, conjoin twins. <laughs> Who wipes? With all the recent curiosity about how blind people experience certain aspects of life, I'm reminded of the many taboo questions I have regarding conjoined twins. I identify as an amateur scientist, and according to my research, most people wipe with the same wipe-dominant hand. Huh. I'm curious about wiping with conjoined twins. Oh. Do they argue about who's going to wipe, or does one twin always wipe? I appreciate any input towards my research. I must warn you, try not to go too deep down the conjoined twin rabbit hole question. It gets pretty dark. Thank you for all the work. And congrats on the awesome Netflix special, Christina. Jeans up, Thanks. hose down, Steven. Uh, wow. Well, I that's mean, just, I mean, I don't think we we would not know, but we can put it out there, obviously, to the universe. <laughs> well, now we've opened up a whole other can of biscuits. I know. Now we're in the conjoined twins questions. Very, very I true. I mean, I have so many questions for conjoined twins. It, I mean, when it comes to everything. Like, everything. How do you do everything? Yeah. How do you decide what you do that day? Do you they negotiate? They date separate people. How does that even, how do you have I sex? I don't know. But that's a great question. God, how do you like Someone's, go on a The date? other person's there for it, obviously. Obviously. 
So you're always in an orgy. Like basically you both have to be dating somebody, let's say, theoretically, and then you guys are like, everybody want to do it? Okay, great. Who, what guy, I mean, I'm sorry, or girl, meets a conjoined twin and is like, I'm into this. Let's do this. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't mean it to sound hateful, but I mean, really, how? It's too hard. Just, just logistically speaking. Yeah. Not you know, just because you're you're dating two different people basically, and they they have distinct personalities. So of course, you're you're always dating the sister and the sister-in-law. Essentially. How do you get out of that? How can you get over that? It or seems the brother like a lot. and the brother-in-law. Yeah, it's a lot. My and how God. do you how do you masturbate? How do you shit? How do you? I, also, with the masturbate, do you realize that it could be like. <laughs> That like my conjoined <laughs> brother could be like uh, I could be like I'm I'm gonna jerk off and he's like I don't want to jerk off <laughs> like I want to go to sleep I'm tired I have a busy day tomorrow and right I'm, like, I'm I'm horny no and then you have the same body part you're fighting over I, I guess in that case you let the brother do the jerking and then you're just like well, I'm just ignoring this yeah I mean the whole oh, I don't know I'm so sad is that show the show obviously isn't on anymore Brittany and Sally, whatever it is. I don't know what their conjoins. names are. Yeah. But they don't they don't answer the important questions. Not any question that anyone wants to know, <laughs> of course. <laughs> their their questions were like, How do you guys deal with feelings? And yeah, like, and no like, one I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about blowjobs. How do you take a shit? Yeah. yeah. How do you date? How do you how do you wipe? God. <laughs> if a police officer has to handcuff someone and that person is missing a hand, what do they do? <laughs> How do they handcuff them? That's from Dave. That seems like something Fuck. that a police off. there's definitely police officers listen to the show. <laughs> you must have run into that. Yeah, I imagine they would cuff a their one -handed. feet. Then you, then you do the ankle thing so they can't run away. I guess. Or the other hand, maybe you but cuff a free, to but an But a object. hand is too, you know, too dangerous to have free. So like you got, yeah, you got to handcuff it to something. But I right. want to know like, if you're a cop and you've ever been in that situation, what do you do? Do you, <laughs> do you stick his hand down his pants? Why would he do that? Just to be like, play with it down there. <laughs> oh, we babe. can't have that out here. Babe. Handcuff his hand to his dick and balls. <laughs> That's silly, Tom. It's very silly, but it could happen. God, all these great life questions. Really great questions. Important question <laughs> about cum hugging. Hi, mummies. I showed some friends the clip <laughs> of the cum huggers. <laughs> One of my friends raised an interesting question. If somebody come hugs you without you knowing oh. or without your consent, is that a crime? How many Jeez. tantric rapers are out there? <laughs> Scotty O and his demonic wife creep me out. Thanks, Jeans. Jake. Jake, that's a really good point. <sighs> and she is demonic. The, the, the smile is horrendous on that. The come huggers the are so weird. They're so, so weird. And the answer is yes. Of course, that's that's a form of sexual assault if you come hug somebody without their consent. Yeah. We practice Tantra, <laughs> which helps us to pull the sexual energy up our bodies. So actually, the longer we make love, the more energized we get. Ugh. Right. Such a weirdo. Uh, yeah. I want her and the rub rub guy. And the Benadryl guy and Kim Ann in the same room. <laughs> All of them. That's a fun movie. Yeah. Somebody that should is make a fun that movie. film. And they'd be like, I really feel like this is enough Benadryl. And that dude would be like, gotta have 10 or 12. 10 or 12. <laughs> <laughs> the whole movie would be about getting people to take more Benadryl. Babe, 10 to 12. I know. It's, it's not even, even that, possible. The Thai guy would be like, too many. Too many. Too many, Bill. <laughs> Four, five, max. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, that's so many Benadryls. You cannot take that. You would, I would have a heart attack. That stuff freaks me out so badly. Could you imagine? Yeah, half yeah. of that dose would kill me. Half the of course, dosage. So much. It's so much. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're so whacked out of your mind. They're totally crazy. You got to be crazy to take that much. No, you shouldn't do that. That's, that's bad. We should say that is bad that, advice. It's so bad advice. And then to smoke dope on top of that, like what? I mean, yeah, no wonder you're, you're horny. Your just mind. your brain's gone. Yeah, man. <laughs> just your mind. Your everything is shut down except for your peener. This is um. God. We brought up you, you know inappropriate 
parents talking about sex. Ugh, I was yeah. Like, You've had this. Josh Potter has great stories about this. Yeah. Um, they got an email. Someone said, hey, I was listening to your podcast, 417. You brought up parents talking about sex. I like also how like we never <laughs> want to sexually talk in front of our son. It's it's so inappropriate yeah. to discuss your sex lives in front of your children, uh, to discuss any aspect of your sex well, life. This person said, it's wrong. it prompted okay. me to talk about my 20 year long nightmare. <laughs> My father passed away when I was a kid, so my mom raised my brother and I by herself. When I turned 13, I started to notice my mom becoming more and more comfortable with innuendos Ugh. and ended up talking about the female anatomy. I'll cut to the chase and Ew. give you some very low and loose scenarios. Here are quotes from her. I sweat a lot during sex. Uh, General talks about how when she gave birth to my brother and I, we destroyed her vagina. All right. One time when at dinner she ordered a sundae, when the server asked if she wanted a cherry, she responded, I haven't had my cherry in almost 20 years. Oh, boy. She has oh since remarried boy. a great guy. They will talk about her sex life with uh, openly at the dinner yeah. table. These are just a few scenarios I have dealt with in my life. I agree with you guys. It is not right. It makes me so nauseous. I can't even <laughs> eat moose soup anymore. Love you, oh. mommies. Keep them high in type. Tom is the personality champ. Bob <laughs> Hitler's HHM. Yeah. I mean, I, I dated you a guy. You really went through it. Right, right. It's disgusting. But my dad, not my dad, my I dated a guy whose father would make sexual jokes constantly. Yeah. Constantly. And that is just It's weird. It's so I remember disgusting. Other like kids' parents like that. My parents were hardcore the opposite. Right. Zero. Right. Yeah. I mean the most I got what I would pick up on as I was older, my dad but doing a dad joke to another adult. In other words, like it wasn't for the kids. Right. You know what I mean? Like Right, right, right. Somebody would say state, I don't know, some, couple of state droopers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was like it would be like kinda like out of earshot. Yeah. But never like to us or like, oh yeah, I used to get real hard with your mom. Like that like That no. is so gross. No. My, I mean now it's also like now I kind of I'm guilty of like poking and prodding them to get them to you, say those but things. You're, but you're also, you know, almost 40. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and I'm like trying to get it to happen. He, you're asking for yeah, it. Yeah. Um, my mother, when my mother passed away uh, in 2015, we were going through old photographs and my dad uh, texted me and sent me copies of these photos he was looking at. He's like, oh, your mom had great tits, great ass. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thanks for telling. That's why you married her. Good tits, good ass. Thank you. Like, is that that's the last thing you want to hear about yeah. your dead mom? Is yeah. how great her tits and her ass were. Yeah, she but you was had very attractive. Yeah, like, thank you. But your mom also had like told you about sex when you were real young. Yeah, there was a lot of that. Uh, she, I think she thought she was teaching me. Teaching. Yeah, that's the thing is that she wasn't doing it in like a perverse, you know, way. But she was like, you got to learn these things. Right. It was but the like, thing is that she was way ahead of schedule. Way. Like. I was like, I was uh, about eight or nine or ten. And it was like she was giving me tutorials on how to please men and this and that. And I was like, you, first, of all, first of all, it was so funny. My mother's biggest thing was having a clean vagina. Mm -hmm. You have to keep your vagina clean. And she had like that old school douchebag, like an yeah. old douche with like the big red nozzle and uh -huh. the black. And it was disgusting. And then she would uh, she was obsessed with you have to let your vagina breathe. So at night, no underwear in the pajamas. You have to let your vagina breathe. Now, my mother also wore nylon tights under her tight jeans. So, of course, I think she was strangling her vagina all day. Oh, right, right. So she really needed to let it breathe at night. Sort of a curious lesson for an eight or nine-year-old, though. Yeah, too early. <laughs> <laughs> and then she had edible panties. That was the most what? disgusting. And it was by her bedside. So, I, I, like, I was privy to her nightstand contents, you know? Like, she would show me what was in there. And it was like, this is pina colada flavor. I'm like, what's pina colada? Like, I was so young, I didn't even know. And then I got to taste the edible panty. She what? like, it, was, it wasn't it was used or anything. She unwrapped it and was like, you want to taste it? And I was like, all right. I thought, but at the time, you think it's so cool because you're yeah. privy to like yeah, grown yeah. up stuff. You're like, wow, I'm mom's best friend. This is great. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to fluid bond with Jesse. Yeah. It, it's, it was so wrong. Like, you're never supposed to be your parents' friends. Not no. even when you're an adult. You're never their friend. Yeah, you're always the child. I'm always going to be, I should always be a child. Yeah. You're always my parent. So nasty. Yeah. 
Oh, like, it's so gross. I'm gonna try my edible panties. I, I, I taste. Remember. She taste. I taste them, and I remember being like, "This is not good." Uh, yeah, it was so gnarly. God, Jesus. so gnarly. Ugh. Just the idea of uh, a hot, sexy man <laughs> ejaculating my wife <laughs> strangely <laughs> turns me on. <laughs> there you go. That's my favorite part. Is the the nervous laughter that accompanies yeah. these horny people. Mm. They're always nervously laughing. Like what the, the cum huggers, <laughs> it's always this nervous laughter. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we're always on the forefront of, um, you know, weird speaking patterns. And oh, we, had yeah. that, we had that guy. From Texas. Yeah. That was the weirdest fucking guy ever. Yeah. Um, and I ended up, he's all over Instagram too. And he has so many fucking, you know, uh, YouTube subscribers, like hundreds of thousands. But yeah. he has that crazy. Of an arcade in Dallas. <laughs> Dallas. So weird. Man. An arcade in Dallas. I respectfully dedicate this list to everyone who has been affected by Hurricane Harvey. Harvey. Yeah. I don't know so how weird. he learned to speak, but his name's Chills. <laughs> and I don't know. So. Anyways, Chills. there was that guy. Um, Hurricane Harvey. I guess the New York Times named their first female editor. Oh. And they did an interview with her. She has crazy vocal fry. Wait a minute. They're, this is the first female editor they've had at the New York Times? I, I think so. It's I think that's what this is. 2017, right? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, but I mean, bananas. Chicks don't read. That's true. You know, it's very meaningful yeah, exactly. to me that I'm the first woman to <laughs> be executive editor of the New York Times. Wow, vocal fry, cross-generational now. Know, and usually you don't see it. You see it in the young women. Right. You see it in the Kardashian-inspired women. Right. Yeah. I'm going to go to the mall and get some new makeup. Yeah. I will say that I can go into it if I'm just tired. And tired, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not like... Uh, they almost said to me, I know I'm not supposed to ask this, but they'd yeah. ask me then a gender related question. I'm so proud of the fact that I am the first woman to hold this job. Whoa. Whoa. Megan and I have been <laughs> together for nearly three years. I That's will say, wild. I, I like that his grammar was proper there. He said, Megan and I, not me and Megan. Right. That's true. So I am. I'm partial to that claim to hold this job <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even seem real this job that's, that's funny. who talks like that this know. job <laughs> i've never heard someone say that i know you're the executive editor of the new york times and you go it's a good job I think, you know, the biggest challenge that I face as I prepare to be executive editor normal, normal. is making everyone in our newsroom as comfortable with this transition that we're now well into. And I think maybe under my watch we'll arrive at the other side. And it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. I'm not saying shit bad about the New York Times. Yeah. Just, they wrote a nice article about me, so... I'm not going to say anything. This job. Bad. Yeah, that's true. You were in the New York yeah, Times. Yeah, not saying anything. This job. This job. Well, this, um, the mm. article is really good. It's basically right. about that's why how, I'm shutting the fuck up right now. I'm not talking shit about the executive editor. It's about the mom lane. Out of your mind. Of comedy. Right. Being, uh. Right. Ali Wong and I are now, we're officially declared a movement. Yeah. It takes, uh, no, and a few other women are doing yeah, but Stuff you guys are up. really doing something uh, important. Um, Steven Seagal is the latest to be accused of sexual harassment. Bananas. It's like a 20-year-old harassment, but... Oh, no. Yeah, then 1996, that woman, that's who the picture was of. Remember I pulled up that yes, picture? Yes, yeah. So was, she was in the wrong file. She uh, was She was into his house. He summoned her to his house to read for a role, and she showed up with, she brought a woman, a uh, casting director with her. Mm -hmm. And Seagal sat in a silk robe and watched her do the scenes. <laughs> a then, silk robe? Yeah. He, and, he, uh -huh. and it said, and then that same day, the manager called and said, Seagal wants to offer you the lead, but you have to go back to his home for a private rehearsal tonight. No. And she didn't want to do it. So they offered her like a one scene role instead. <laughs> And uh, cut her <gasps> from the movie. 
Wow. And she said on set he would be like around guys and look at her and snicker and, you know. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's, uh... I mean, I am the king of improv, if you'll forgive my saying so. Yeah, it's yeah. so, it's so, uh, it's so, it's so odd. I mean, he's usually such a normal guy. It's yeah. Like, it's there must be a new movie with him out, by the way, because people keep sending me uh, clips of a new movie, which is, it's like breaking down all <laughs> the Seagal walls that we thought existed. Now, wait a minute. Is it on YouTube? Do we have a, a trailer? I think it's on I think it's on Netflix, but no. Well, I think so. Oh, all right, all we, his movies end up there, right? We we've, we've watched a few on yeah, there. Yeah, but I think he's got a new one where. Let me see if this is Kicky Punch and the Raper. Yeah, his new one looks like a real hot pile of shit. <laughs> um, look, I fucking just pulled up my <laughs> fucking fucking I thing. Just this fuck is my, I just oh in. no! Yeah. Look at that. And Aries there too. Ari. Um, Harry Schaefer. Let's see, Steve. Let's see if he's got a new one. Steven Seagal. You yeah. say that's not how you say it. I say Steven Seagal. Seagal. How do you say it? Twenty six. Tommy. How what? do you say Seagal? Seagal. It's Seagal. Why is it not Seagal? Seagal. Steven Seagal. Steven. He's such a weird dude, man. This whole thing about he lives in Russia now, right? Yeah, I don't know. That's he's there a lot. So weird. Is it? There's, God, he's got so many movies out here. I mean, are you American or not, buddy? You got to choose a side. You with the commies or are you with us, man? Asian Connection. Oh, we watched that one That before. Asian Connection's fantastic. Perfect Weapon. One that star. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Asian Connection. Good Man. I feel like we looked at that one. We looked at that one, yeah. Is it Code of Honor? Is this the one maybe that he's... Hmm. Well, why know. do all these t titles sound exactly the same? I don't know. It's like Asian Connection, Code of Honor, Man of Words, or whatever. They're all the same. They sent me, there's, there's this like scene where he's clearly, because you know he's like really good at improv. He clearly <laughs> is improvising with the actress. Uh oh. And it's so painful, you know? Like, poor girl is just like, can I just stick to the script? And he's like, you can. But I'm going <laughs> to fucking just riff. It's so terrible. He's, he's just the worst. Um, but yeah, so now he's the latest to be accused of uh, harassment. Pretty neat. Great. I love it. I hope this trend continues. I would like to drain the showbiz swamp of these creeps. That would be fantastic. Yeah. I mate. wonder who we're going to find out is the next big creeper. Because you know, once it uh, once the can is open, once it starts. Make Hollywood well, great so again. so tan. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you see how dark his skin is? Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I wanted to ask you something. <gasps> Babe. Would you give your life to save the world? The world? Nobody knew you did it. Of course. Uh. Dumb shit. Yeah, Babe, he's like, like brown. There's a real actor. Like, I'm going to try to act. See, that's the difference between you and me. And you're not telling me when we settle anything. He's fat. Or dictate the time. <laughs> Look at his hair. It's crazy. Babe. Garden. Come alone. He's, he's so dark. But I, you can't, I can't even get uh. over how brown his skin is. There's... There's new. Uh, he's pale. He's normally very pale. He's doing new new stuff every movie. Keep it exciting, man. He's like that lady on uh, Mori Povich that we played. Uh, Remember the Mori Povich lady who went black with the injections? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be doing that. He might be going towards that. <laughs> I've been black now for over uh, I've been black fifty for years. A lot of years. I'm like, wait a minute. No, you're not. Yeah. Yes, yes, I am. I wish someone had told me. <laughs> What that fucking movie I'm black. was, because it was an amazing. I've been scene. African American my whole life. He goes like, I love the fuck out of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. In this scene that he just oh yeah, yeah. I love the fuck out of cookies, and we know that. Yeah, if anybody that's knows obvious. the scene or or the movie that that that's in, I would really love to know, because <laughs> it looks like such a pile of shit. His acting is really questionable. <laughs> I mean, that was like, that's what I thought. Like, he doesn't yeah, even try. I know. Let's see if... Yeah, if that, I, that poor other actor was actually trying to react and and have a moment. And and Seagal was just like, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Uh, he's so just, weird. Yeah, he's a very weird he's guy. He's a weird dude. Very weird guy. Um, lastly, before we get out of here, um, just thought that, Maybe you would like to check this out. Maybe it's a 
direction you want to go in Uh as a parent. Sweden is the most forward-thinking country in the world when it comes to questioning gender. (laughs) The gender-neutral pronoun hen is now commonly used by most Swedes. Yes, I love it. Yeah. Hen. So I've just arrived in Örebro in Sweden. I'm about to go meet a family who are attempting to bring up their kids free from all gender norms. Hello, Amelia, nice to meet you. How are you? This is Nico. Hello. Yeah, what's happening? What is happening? What answered the door? What What was that? You'll see. (laughs) And not to be gender normative here. You'll see. Hen? Hen answered for sure. Man. Mama, is that that your partner? Yeah. My partner goes by Matilda and Matt, but is also the one who gave birth. And I'm Mapa. That's just what felt right to me because I'm intersex. Um, I was born with characteristics of both male and female. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got it all going on. Yeah. Del is an American photographer who moved to Sweden for love. Their work has, for over three decades, focused on queer identities and challenging gender norms. Yeah. This is Nico's room. And how old is Nico? Nico's two and a half. And Mika is? Uh, Almost five and a half. Mika and Nico were both assigned male at birth, but in this family, the sex you were born with does not dictate your gender identity. There you go. We could have done something about that ourselves. (laughs) So those were born with male characteristics, those children. Those two, those two were, uh, I'm sorry, born cisgender males. I think so, right? Is and that what you then, heard? No, just that they're born. No, is that what you heard? I'm saying in the, that's what the, that's what they said, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're b- born male and then they're being raised agender, oh, agender. Good idea. We don't gender toys. We don't gender right. colors. So whatever they're interested in. It's like yeah, they can just cool. play with whatever toys they want. And yeah. you would never dictate what those toys no. were. No, well, absolutely on. not. So they both have Wait, a lot of cars. Yeah, interestingly and they both enough. have dolls. But interestingly enough, she opens up two drawers. And all I saw were trucks, cars, Legos, traditionally boy things. I mean, could it be because they were born boys at birth? I don't want. I don't want to be insensitive. And what about with clothing? Right now, Mika is for the past two months has worn a dress every day, just about. When Mika is wearing dresses, and because Mika has very, very long hair, most people assume that Mika's female. Which is what? Wait a minute, but that wouldn't that be a gender norm? For instance, the long hair, he, she, they, Hen just said, the long hair yeah. is traditionally feminine. So isn't that a gender norm thing? Maybe, no, and the probably, and such? probably what happened was that the child said, I don't want a haircut. I want my hair to be long. Okay. We use he for them. Sometimes it's mixed and it depends, you know, because in Sweden we have hen, the gender neutral pronoun in Swedish. I think Mika has always said when I've asked, it's been she or hen. Oh, there you go. Oh, so, sorry. So the child is is asking for she or hen. Well, then there you go. Yeah. Then then that's what the kid wants and you, you know, big deal. I feel like you're the kind of leading comedic voice don't how dare you don't you down. dare don't Why? you dare what am i daring don't it's you dare true. get me to be the uh you are the the, the binaries you are lot oh boy you're that comic now <laughs> people ask me about the first 48 and bikes and shit oh oh right what's yeah yeah you're the person i mean i don't know it's it's uh i, I will say that just watching our kid um uh, he's uh, sorry I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, what are you doing they've been our son has been yeah. privy to both dolls and trucks and bike, or whatever Legos, yeah. and he doesn't really care for the dollies. And that's it's true. not—it's not me being like, no, 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 like, that's true. Don't touch the dolls, homo. It's not yeah. that. It's that <laughs> he doesn't care. No, no, it's true. It's pretty, and and he likes dirt and trash can playing yeah, yeah. and stomping in mud. Stomping in like it's yeah. pretty. He's in the cars too. It's pretty I gender love specific. Really Loves do. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How do you avoid gendering your children? Yeah, how do we you? didn't choose anything but gender neutral names. We chose not to know what sex they would be assigned when they were born. Not answering the question, what? is it a boy or a girl? To avoid oh the B word and the G word. 
the B word and the G word. How do you avoid knowing the gender they're assigned at birth? What does that mean? You don't look at their genitals? I think knowing beforehand. Oh. Like oh, preparing oh, okay. the, the home for a boy or a oh, girl. Oh, I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Uh, all right. They would be assigned when they were born. Not answering the question, is it a boy or a girl? To avoid oh, the yeah. B you... word and the G word. <laughs> what do you do when people say, is it a boy or a girl? See, that's the answer I would like to know. Well, what does is the it a boy kid or a want? girl? Right. Well, I guess I guess it's up to the child. Yeah. Now, here's my thinking here, and maybe this and is... And how do you handle a sweet old person that's like, is it yeah. a boy or a girl? And they're yeah. like, why don't you mind your fucking yeah. business? <laughs> why don't you respect its pronoun? It's a hen. Yeah. I think... Uh, I also think that it, it sounds like this person was had to deal with a lot of shit growing up being both genders. Yeah, the intersex person? Yeah. yeah I yeah, mean, yeah, and yeah. that's got to be so horrible right. to grow up being so, fucked with your whole life. Since you were fucked with... And your kids probably wouldn't be. It's good to push your trauma onto them. Exactly. That's a really good thing to do. <laughs> your two kids that were I'm born thinking. as boys, you should definitely be like, I'm going to push my issues onto you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And I get how painful that must have been for them. Yeah. Because that sucks. It does. But to go this far with this stuff, like maybe you just need to see a therapist and then deal with your changing pronouns in books instead of it always being mama we say mama and mapa what's the matter sweetie x ask mapa it's so dark yeah i want to know how grandma margaretta feels about how her grandchildren are being raised we had our problems at the beginning there you go and there was different i let my son go to kindergarten in a dress and with a hair like this that was only one time. I think if, it, if he would like to have done that every day, it would have been a problem. So she's a normal older so lady. So she, but which one is her son? Is it the one that they've been interviewing? No. It's the, the other, other yeah. the other parent. I think so, right? No, because the other parent is the one that gave birth. Oh. So the other one is a female by. Oh, yeah. So that would make sense that that, that person would go to kindergarten in a dress so i'm thinking it's the one that's being interviewed right but then she did have a normal old person response she's like it was fucking weird at the yeah, top yeah meaning like i've adapted yeah and that like my own son was not allowed to do that yeah i mean look i i do feel like this stuff these countries are generally more progressive yeah there's a then, lot this is a lot healthier society to live in yeah too. and then we catch up to what they're doing in like 30 years yeah <laughs> But my stupid 41-year-old brain is still just like, wait, what? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not sure. True. I'm fully comprehending They have this. like a way healthier, I don't know, like criminal justice system. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, healthcare, all, all that is way, way further ahead in Sweden. And then yeah. that whole region, really. Yeah, they're very in the Netherlands, right? Isn't that what that's considered? No. I don't know what they are. That, that Scandinavia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they they tend to be way more progressive, than you know, in terms of the Western world than what we are at. I mean, the reason I like Mar Margareta so much is because she thinks I'm a great mop up, yeah. right? Very nice. Yeah. 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 Well, it's interesting. Do you want to wear this one or this one? You want this one? Okay. We're going to go with the red and black theme today. Then, good idea. See, on the, on the other hand, too, mm. it's like you also are shaping how the kid responds to stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, is it really something that's originating in them, or is it because they're watching you do your mop hot True, because kids will just imitate what? the fuck out of you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man. It's really, it's an interesting, like, it's a really interesting question to ask if you're a parent or just interested in how these things work because the kid does all kids, especially when they're around you a lot, your own kid, they just go like, you start seeing, they start behaviorally doing things like you. Yeah. They, you know, I mean, you see the way that our kid picks up the phone. He's like, wow. Yeah. Starts talking the phone, kind of like imitating the way I do it. Yes. It's just, they do what you do. They do do what you do. It's fascinating. Today, I do Han, Han, Eller, Han, that's not something I always have to say, but it would be good to know today for the film. Skaya sea hon elohen. Just Mika, okay. See, and then again, are we, is this That's a lot of 
But see, that's a big decision. Like for a, such a small asking person. a small person, like, yeah. what do you want your pronoun to be today? And the kids are like, um, how about just call me by my name? Well, and doesn't that also rattle their cage in terms of who their self is every day? Right. It's like, well, maybe this kid has a, a an internal compass that's pretty sturdy, and you're now you're you're constantly forcing the questioning of that compass. Maybe that kid doesn't have the same stuff you did. Right. You know? know, like maybe you're confused, but your kid's not. And then you're making them insecure by being like, well, what's your pronoun? What's your pronoun? What's I your pronoun? I feel like it's such a heavy thing to try to break down. The person that would best answer this question would probably be. True weed alone can get you really hornier than normal, but Benadryl, take about 10, 12 Benadryl before you <laughs> want to have your sexual fun with your partner or whatever you do. Oh, no, yeah. All right. There I feel like go. 10 or 12 Benadryl would solve the world's problems. I think that if you gave that kid 10 <laughs> or 12 Benadryl and you're like, what's your pronoun? They'd be like, I can tell you now and forever. It's fucking hen. Like, okay. <laughs> and then that's what it is. Hen. Well, there you go, Gene. Um, we got to go. This is uh, our song Murder Boner by Big E. Um <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> of course, a reminder, check out um, Christina's special Mother Inferior on Netflix, streaming now. Uh, I also found out that my first special, Completely Normal, is now available on Amazon Prime for free. Oh, you can stream it there. That's nice. If you nice. have Amazon Prime, you can just press play on it. So I just found that out. Um, and that's it. That's what we got, Gene. Thanks, Gene. This is a fun episode. That was. Call me Hen. I'm Hen, too. Okay, Hen, Hen. See you guys next week. I'm going to put my egg in. I'm gonna murder you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder you. You're really quiet sometimes when you stand next to him. I just peer into his head sometimes, like, what's going on in there? Yeah. If you're a psycho, you, you spot another psycho. Yeah. If you're a psycho, you, you spot another psycho. And the victim was a blonde woman, a 41 year old mother of one son named Alice, who lived in a suburb of California. Now, Springs police are getting involved. I'm gonna murder, murder, kill, kill, kill. I'm gonna murder, murder, kill, kill, kill. I'm gonna murder, murder, kill, kill, kill. I'm gonna kill, kill, murder, kill, kill, murder, kill. So funny. Don't you like funny stories? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Kill, 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 kill. You're right. He is the biggest fucking psycho. Oh, yeah. You're right. He is the biggest fucking psycho. Oh, yeah. Right, he is the biggest fucking uh, psycho. Oh, yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, my. <laughs> <laughs> have these dark demons inside. <laughs> I had to laugh. He snaps the hooker's neck. <laughs> super violent things. Talking about murder. And the rage inside. <laughs> he snaps the hooker's neck. <laughs> super violent things. Talking about murder. murder and the murder. rage inside. What about the Asian man that got his legs crushed? <laughs> I mean, it, the look and the sound, the fact that the car kept going back up, the engines revving, beautiful. The the, the, guy, the guys yelling, you know how to say words. He's yelling in so much pain. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I'm laughing at confessions of murderers. You're laughing at true suffering. <laughs> it's the suffering that gives you the tickle. <laughs> you think that's crazy? <laughs> Really? Yeah. I mean, everyone gets excited about something. Oh, yeah.